Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. This your brother Pawaria from Great Millstone Camp. Um, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all the Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and in charity. Barakatha Makiyam. All right, so I'm going to get into a quick lesson um, entitled, Do You Know the Way to Salvation? All right, because a lot of people, they think they know the way, but they're not following after the way. The, the, the only one way, because there's only one way, man, to salvation. And and our people is not following the, that way, because here it is. You got our people that's in these religions. That's not the way. You know what I'm saying? You got Grandmaster J. He's not the way. You got uh, some of these Hebrew, Hebrew churches and camps. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, pushing out false doctrine. That's not the way. And, and of course, Esau, who wants you to take his RFID chip and, and, and take his way, is definitely not the way. All right? So, hey, man, that's not the way, man. Because here it is, these religions, man, when you go back, go to the word religion, it means to bind, to hold back. So th these religions, these this, this plantation, uh, Christianity, this Islam, Buddhism, all these things is to hold you back from the way. You know what I'm saying? Because these churches will tell you, oh, you saved. But saved for what, man? It's, the scripture says those that are saved that, are, that endure to the end. All right? And so that's not the way. And here it is. You got Grandmaster Jay. You know, I listened to him, uh, to one of his speeches, one, you know, some of it. And it was like, I, re I remember him saying, no one's going to save us. <laughs> that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Now, I can see how if you carnal, I can see how you would think that it, it, it would be the only way, the only hope is to, to go against Esau and bear arms and all that. If you're a carnal, I can see why you think that. Because, like, even even myself, you know what I'm saying, when I was in the world, I felt like that, like the only way is to it, it was that way, man. But, hey, our people have tried that way, man. You know what I'm saying? The black, you had the what the black, the black Panthers. You know what I'm saying? It, it, but it didn't, it didn't um, succeed. You know, you got here it is. You got um, uh, what's uh, Louis Farrakhan talking about justice or else? Like you know what I'm saying? Okay, you we haven't seen re justice. So what's what's the else part? That ain't that ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? These things is it, carnal. All right, and when you read in uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4, it tells you that our warfare is not carnal, man. All right, we're fighting a spiritual warfare, man. The Lord is going to come and, and fight for us. He's going to come deliver us, man. All right, because if, you know what I'm saying, if it was the Lord that put us in this predicament, who you think going to get us out, man? It ain't going to be ourselves. It ain't going to be Esau. It's not going to be nobody to save us but Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the only, that's the That's the way, okay? And, and, and like I said, man, hey, all that, all that, that, um, that protesting and marching, that all failed. All these things had failed us, all right? Y'all should be tired. Y'all feet should be tired, man, of marching, you know? It, it ain't going to get you nowhere, man. They laugh at that. That's nothing, man. All right? So, hey, man, it, those th these things are not the way, man. The scripture says, um, when you read in Isaiah 55 and 8, it tells you that uh, our thoughts is not uh, his thoughts. Our ways is not uh, my ways is not your ways. Let's just get that right real quick. Because, hey, man. It's crazy how we try to we trying to get ourselves out of um, out of bondage, man, out of captivity, out of punishment, out of this punishment, man. It, hey, just like your parent, it, it, when your parent put a uh, put your put a child, when a parent put a child on punishment, no one can take that child out of punishment but the one that put them on punishment, the parent, not nobody else, man. And we have to know these things, man. No, it's just it, it's simple, all right. This is Isaiah 50 feet, 55 and, and 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, 
said the Lord. So the Lord said, your ways is not my ways, man. So if you're trying to go your way, it's going to lead you to death and destruction. That's it, you know, because you have no hedge of protection. The Lord ain't with you. If the Lord ain't with you, everything is against you. You know what I'm saying? But when the Lord is with you, hey, can't nothing come up against you, man. You know, let's get another one to back that up. This is Proverbs 14 and uh, and 12. It says, there is a way which seem right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. All right. So here it is. Hey, you thinking you, hey, these religions and these people that set up like Grandmaster J, uh, these, these false uh, churches, you know what I'm saying? Hebrew churches, uh, all these things. It might seem right, but it's going to lead you to death and destruction, man. Because it's not of Yahweh by Shem Shai. When you follow out the, the ways of Yahweh by Shem Shai, you have to be precise. You have to be on point. Okay? Because if, if a Hebrew camp is telling you that the name of the Lord don't matter, man, you better run away from that camp, man. If they telling you that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast, you better run away from that camp, man. If they telling you Esau could be saved, run away. that Because it's not the way. All right, they're not on the same um, vibration of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and let's get that, man, because we're going to tell you this this right here, this one scripture alone, it, it will tell you the way. All right, this is John. I'm going to read John 14. And. Fourteen and six, and it reads: It says, "Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way." All right, that, that's telling you right there, man. That's that's simple. Yahweh Shai is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's easy, man. Self-explanatory. And so if you ain't going through your how by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? Anything outside of that is not the way. It's not the truth. It's a lie. And it's not life because it's going to lead you to death. All right? Because, hey, Yahweh Shai is the mediator, man. And it tells you that also, man, in um, First Timothy. We're going to read that. Because, hey, these scriptures, man, it's, it, it speak for itself, man. All right? Precept upon precept is, that is how you get understanding, all right, of this word, of the, uh, of the Lord's word, all right? So this is 1 Timothy 2 and 5. It says, for there is one power and one mediator between the most high and man and men. The man, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So Yahweh Shai is the man. He's the go-to man. You know, if you want to get to the Father, you got to go through him. So he going to, hey, and, and he going to set up men to show you that way, man. All right? So, yeah, you know, you follow out the men that is following out the Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Plain and simple, man. And if they ain't following out the, the blueprint, of your how about Shem Shot, man, run away. You're going in the wrong direction. All right. This is Acts 16. Uh, Acts 16 and 17. It says, The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the most high power, which show us. Which show unto us the way of salvation. Alright. So the Lord is going to set up men in these last days. To show you that way man. Just like hey, like Paul in them days man. You, hey, it's, it's, it's about following out the, four, the forefathers. After the path of the, our forefathers man. For example you got Moses. You got, uh, you got Job. You got Lot. Man, you got Noah. These that that's the path that we should be following after, man. 
ultimately the, the, the path of Yahweh Shai, okay? So we got the blueprint. We got the, the, the way, all right? And there's plenty of scriptures that says, uh, it says basically um, show them the way wherein um, that you must walk. So the way, hey, we have the way, man. We on the old on that path that's gonna lead us to salvation. That's gonna lead us to the kingdom. Uh, okay, let's get uh, some more beautiful scriptures. Let's get this in Jeremiah six and sixteen. It says, "Thus said the Lord." Stand ye in the ways and seek and ask for the old paths where is the good way. Man, so this this right here, man. Hey, this is the Lord saying, hey, stand ye in the ways and seek and ask for the old paths. Them old paths is of our forefathers, man. That was that was obedient to this word, man. Okay. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. But they said, we will not walk therein. And that's what's our problem with our people now, man. They don't want to walk in the way of your how about Shem Shai because it's going to mean that they have to sacrifice something. They're going to have to get rid of some stuff, man. They're going to have to change their life, you know. And our people, they are stiff-necked people, man. That's something that... You know that they don't want to do. They don't want to get rid of this life, man. You can tell them that. Look, man. Look, man. We about to have a kingdom where we're gonna overcome death. You ain't gonna have to work. You gonna have um, you gonna have um, say, uh, slaves. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, you gonna you know what I'm saying? You gonna have all these things, and they do not want to still. They don't. They still don't want to let this world go. Why? It's because they don't have faith. They don't have that 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 special gift of faith that spoke about in uh, Ephesians uh, two and eight, I believe. You know, because faith is a gift. So that gift wasn't given unto them. So that's why they can't see it, man. They can't see past this this wicked ass life. You know what I'm saying? So it's a hey, so the water you have by Shimon Al Shafa uh, taking us out of this darkness, man. Taking us out of this darkness and giving us this marvelous light, giving us this hope. All right. Uh, see, let's see. These scriptures are so beautiful, man. It, it, it's so uplifting. You know, you have to meditate on these words, man. All right. You know, and it's a shame that our people would not hearken to these words, man. These are beautiful, uplifting words that will make you want to change your life. That will make you want to be right, do right, you know. Let's get this in Judah, in the Apocrypha 5, and seven, and start with uh, 17. It says, and wills they sin not, and when, it says, and wills they sin not before they power, they prosper. So when we're not sinning and we're trying to live uh, and calling on the true name of our Heavenly Father and His Son, we prospered, man. All right? When we was trying to keep, when we was keeping the laws to the best of our abilities, you know what I'm saying? We prospered. It says, because the power that hateth iniquity was with them. All right? So, you, hey, you want the Lord to be with you, man. If the Lord is with you, who can be against you? Nobody. All right? Nobody, man. Hey, nobody can be against you if you got the Lord with you, man. All right? Read knowing verse 18, it says, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, see, you can't depart from the way that the Lord command us to live. Because, hey, you, you going down the wrong way, man. It says, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captive into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground. And their cities were taken by the enemy, by the enemies. But now are they returned to their power and are come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem 
where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill countries for it was desolate. See, so right now, man, the Lord, hey, we've been scattered, man. But now the Lord is gathering his elect. He's gathering the ones that change from their wicked ways. He's gathering the ones that a hey, return done back to him, calling upon his true name, living the to living the life that you're supposed to live according to the scriptures. The Lord has returned back and he's gathering the elect, man, because he's about to give us a kingdom. He's about to give us salvation, man. All right. So this this is the line that you want to stand in, you know. Any other line outside of that is uncivilized, man. And it's going to lead you <coughs> in the wrong path to death and destruction. Plain and simple, man. But, you know, our people are sinners, man. And, this, and our people is going to be destroyed because they don't want to repent. They are all over the place. They go this way. They go that way. They say this thing and say another. They say one thing and do another. That's That's wavering, man. Or they believe in one thing one minute, and then the next minute they believe in something else. They be, uh, they became you know uh, uh, they was a you know what I'm saying a Christian. Then they became a Muslim. Now they you know what I'm saying. Now they believe that they're a god, uh, or they believe in energy that is a god. There's many gods. All this nonsense, man. And it's gonna be woe unto those people. It, it tells you that. You know what I'm saying. A person that that's Let's see. Let's just get it. That's that just all over the place, man. This is Sirach 2. I'm going to read Sirach 2 and, and 12. It says, Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Hey, so you go, you going two ways, man. Hey, you, you, the Lord, hey, death and destruction coming unto you, man. Or with faint heart, faint hands, you know what I'm saying? You you stop believing in this truth, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever it may be, man. You know, you went back to the world. Hey, you just leading yourself to death, man. All right? And if that's what you want, man, hey, that's what you're going to get. All right? Because his ways is plain to the holy, man. He 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 revealed his ways unto the holy, man. And you have all we have to do is endure and and, and and that's it to the end. You know? It tells you that in Sirach 39, man. That his ways let the spirit let, let, he's just gonna let the scriptures speak. Sirach 39 and 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. So yeah, if you a wicked ass nigga, it's a, you, this this word, this truth, is a stumbling block. You ain't gonna receive it, man. You gonna hear it. You can hear all the 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 beautiness of these scriptures, and you ain't gonna receive it. You, you know what I'm saying? The Lord has put that stumbling block in front of you so that you can trip and fall on your face. All right. And that's just what it is, man. All right? Because you was wicked and you want to stay wicked. You enjoy being wicked. A lot of people, they enjoy being wicked, man. It, it, that's how they, that, it makes them happy, you know? Hey, but hey, the men of the Lord is going to return. They're going to uh, turn away from their wicked, their wickedness. Okay? And that's what we're trying to do, man. We're trying to warn the people, you know what I'm saying? Warn our people that look, man. This ain't the way. The way you living is not the way. You know what I'm saying? You tell that to your families and friends and they'll turn against you. Like, man, like you said something strange. When they the strange one, man. Like, it's crazy, man. Hey, but it's already written that this was, that you're going to have people that, that turn away from this truth. You know what I'm saying? This truth is going to be evil spoken of. So, hey, it is what it is, man. Okay? This is, uh... Uh, Ezekiel 3 and 19. Yet if it says, I start at 18. It says, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die and thou give of him warning and, and thou give him not warning nor speak of 
to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. All right. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I could read on. But, hey, the point is that, man, we out here warning the people, man. That's love to to, to go out and, and to warn your people like, hey, man, look, hey, this is the way, man. We've been lied to. Hey, we've been we've been they you know, our enemy directed us in the wrong way. So this is not the way. Now the Lord is waking us up, bringing us back into our remembrance, knowing who we are. Because you have to know who you are, man. If you don't know who you, who you are, you just like a tree that have no roots, man. You don't have no roots, so you're going to die and you're going to wither away. So the Lord, hey, that's a beautiful thing that the Lord woke us up so that we know who we are, man. You know? So that he can reveal all these secrets unto his servants, the prophets. The, you know what I'm saying? These mysteries that our people can't seem to, to get. You know, they got a block on their in on their brain where they can't uh see this, you know what I'm saying, and understand it. Alright. Second Edris nine and nine. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways. You abusing the Lord's ways, man, when you eating pork. When you when you're doing wickedness, committing adultery and uh, smoking weed and and killing each, your, yourself uh, each other and all these things in these churches, all these things following after after a man that is not of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Those are you you are abusing the Lord's ways, man. It says, then shall they be in a pitiful case. Which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Man, y'all about to be tormented, man, with that fire and brimstone that's about to come to this place, man. This is that warning that the prophets from all over the world is telling the people. Wake the hell up and turn back to your to your true nationality, to the, the ways of the Lord, because any other way it, it's just gonna lead you to gross darkness, man. That's it. That's all. Alright. I mean, so hey, I mean, point is made, man. You know, so you know, the true way to, to salvation is through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And if you fear the Lord, you're gonna hate every evil way, man. You're gonna hate every Everything that's evil, you going to hate it, man. So ultimately, man, you got to hate this world because this world is nothing but but nothing but nothing evil, man. It's nothing but wickedness in this place. Uh, I quoted that scripture. Let's just read it. Um, this, uh, let's see, Proverbs 8. We're going to read Proverbs 8. Shit, man. Hey, so we got the way, man. We know the way. We got to stay on that, that, that right path, man. You know? So this is Proverbs 8 and 13. It says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way. <laughs> so, man... You got to hate this stuff, man. You got to hate this world. And the forward mouth, do I hate? So, hey, man, everything that is not of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh hate it, man. You know? Hate that evil way, man. This evil, this evil way is not leading us, it's not giving us justice. It's not giving us peace. Uh, it, it's just, it, it's not, man. Got to know this. You got to see that. Hey, y'all. Hey, our people repeat, re keep repetitively doing the same thing over and over and over again. And they keep getting the same results. So, like, I mean, man, that's insane to continue to do something and, and get the same results. 
hey, you got to do something different, man. Something new. If you want a different, uh, a different result, you got to do something different, man. And Lord had gave us this way. He gave us the path to walk in. This is that path that we have to walk in, man, and endure until the end, man. Which one you gonna choose, man? It, it's you gonna choose life or you gonna choose death? It's, you know that's what it's all that all bows down to, man. Yeah, that's what it all boils down to is it, which one do you want, man? Life or death? All right, this is uh. Deuteronomy 30 and 19. It says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Man, you want to choose life, man. And the life, it comes through who? We read it, man. We read it in John 14 and 6, man. Yahweh Shai said it himself. I am the way, the truth, and the life. All right? So we got to go through him, man. Oh, let me get, let's get one more, man. And I'm going to end it because, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the point been made, you know. It's been made. Let's get another beautiful scripture and Psalms. Psalms is music to the ear. Music. Music. Yeah, this, this, this is music, man. It's beautiful, man. Alright. This is Psalms 50. And I'm going to read 23. It says, Whoso offereth praise glorifies me. That's why, man, we always giving praise to Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. We always glorifying Yahweh by Shem Shah. You know? It says, And to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I show the salvation of, 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 of our power. Yahweh by Shem Shah. And now in this scripture, in this particular scripture, when you go into that word conversation, it says, uh, it says the way. So if you just replace that and, and put way, it, hey, it's telling you. And to him that order of his way. So if you push him forth and, and, and going in the way and your conversation, because conversation also mean a, your conduct, your your uh, your lifestyle. You know, you you know you you know. So you're going in that if your way is a right. Will I show the salvation of the most high power? All right. So if you going in the way and, and, and the right way, man, the Lord is about to give you salvation. Beautiful, man. So, hey, so you have to know and believe that right now we on the right path. The path that we're on, you have to know and believe and have faith that we on the right path, man. Stay on that path. Don't don't go off that path. Don't make no left, no left turn, no U-turn. And, and and you know what I'm saying end up getting jacked up, you know. So yeah, uh, let's get uh let's get one. I I just get one more. It was one in Jeremiah that I wanted to get Jeremiah. So yeah, man, it's, it's repercussions, man. If you if you fall out of the way. Of your how about Shem Yahushua? Like now, a lot of our people gonna fall in the hands of Esau, man, our enemy, by taking that RFID chip. Cause that RFID chip, that's gonna be your. Uh, you are gonna have to have that that RFID chip. That's gonna be your license in order to live. You know what I'm saying? If you want to live in this place, you you gotta have that license uh, with that RFID chip, man. That's gonna be your license to live. Hey, and there's repercussions behind that, and it tells you that in Revelations 14 and 9 and 10. So <clears throat> you take that, <clears throat> you take that chip, man. You're gonna dwell in torments, that fire and brimstone, that in the wrath of the Lord is gonna come on your ass. All right. This Jeremiah 15. Uh, Jeremiah 15 and. 
and 7. It says, I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people since they return not from their ways. <laughs> hey, so you don't want to turn away from your ways, man? The Lord is going to destroy your ass. You reject him, he's going to reject you. It's just that simple, man. It's just true. That's all it is. And that's all I'm, hey, I'm going to tell you the truth. Whether you like it, you love it, or you hate it, it's whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? It's because it's the truth that's going to set you free. So if you ain't following out the truth, what? hey, you're not free, man. You're still a, a slave in this place. And you're going to die in this place. Hey, the men of the Lord, we want to be delivered up out of this place, man. We tired of this hellhole. We tired of being up under subjection under our enemies. You know, we tired of being sick. We tired of these weak bodies. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it's nothing. This place has nothing to offer, man. Okay, but the kingdom to come has everything to offer. Everything your heart's desires, man, in righteousness. All right. So, hey, hey, man, let's just stay on the right path, man. And we at the end of that, man. We at the end of this. Know this and believe this and have faith in this word, man, and in the right way. Stay on the right path, man. All right. Hey, so Lord willing, I hope this was edifying. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and in charity. Baraka Thumb Akim. Let's stay on this right path. And, and, and we got a hey, we got a kingdom, man. You know, the Lord is gonna give us them crowns. That that crown, man. We're gonna have rulership over the our enemies. You know. So hey. So Shalom Akim. Hey. Wa Ababa Ball.